Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part seven on CMS blogging system. Today we will be going ahead and we will be creating the page where we can actually view all of our posts. So that not gonna be very fancy. We're just gonna be having a very simple table with some pretty styles. So out here, I have none of my file open. So I'm gonna go ahead. and I would be opening the file post.php. And out here on the bottom, first I want to give myself a note that uh, I'm ending the div with a class of callful, and this one I would be saying, oh no, this one would be callful, and this one would be subheader. And out here, I would be creating a dev class callful again. And then I would be creating a new dev with an ID of view posts. Okay. Again, here, end view posts. And here would be a callful. Okay, guys. So out here, we would be creating a very simple table. We would be showing all of our posts. So I would be saying table and width to 100%. Then I would be having a T head. And inside it, I would be having a TR. TH scope would be columns. So this way I can have a couple of th up here. For the very first one, I can say uh, title. Okay. And uh, after title, we can say a shot des description, right? So I can say description or snippets. Snippets so like you will find. And then I can say Created by who's the actual author who created it? Created on, and after that would be our comments how many comments we have received. And the last we can keep some actions if you want to delete them or you want to, you know, edit them. Depends. So, up here. I will be creating another TR with some TD. So for now, let's say title to CMS blogging system. Okay. Uh, step I would be who blogging system for creating personal blogs, right? Created by author, created on. If you're not even sure, then you're gonna finish it. So let's say 2311 2085. I'm gonna take that much time in order to win this 20 minute video series. Comments would be none for now, guys. And the actions would be some custom images that uh, I don't have right now. Okay, that's very simple. So go ahead and let's see how does it looks. It's here on the very right. But that's okay. So here we are starting our subheader, also adding our subheader. So let me open my firebug and let's see what's the actual problem with it. View posts it's going on its free right. But that's fine, we're gonna give it some styles. So we'll be opening my style.css file. Okay, on the very bottom, uh, I would be saying ID view posts should float towards the end. Let's see what happens now. 
okay now we have everything out here but everything looks quite you know mumble jumble so first i have to say tr align towards the left okay i have to say width to this one 100 percent I'll refresh it once again and now it looks a bit fine but don't worry I have some styles out here this would be the style for our th so I'm gonna say view posts table th okay I will be giving a background color of near to black with a border bottom and a border top and the text color would be white with a font size of 13, a font weight, and some pattern. Okay, there's nothing fancy inside it. So, view, post, table, td <coughs> would be this. Okay, uh, td hover, once we will be hovering over it. So, I say hover. Paste it here. So to our TD, I'm giving a background color to something near to gray with a border bottom to white and a border top to solid with no color. And uh, the actual font color would be, you know, something near to black, like very light black. Some padding and a cursor pointer. And on the hover, we would be changing the background color. So let's see how does it looks. Okay, guys, this is how it will look. Over, over. Okay. Uh, we can say TR hover. That will like look even better. TR hover TD. Okay, now this way we are actually able to hover the entire like the entire table row. Or if we people want, we can increase some padding on. Make this to 14 and our TH to 14 as well. Okay, this looks pretty fun. So we're gonna make the padding to 14 as well. 14 pixels and 14 pixels. Refresh. That way, guys, this is how actually it will look. Now we can, you know, get some heading out here on the top. We can say all posts are. Yeah, that would be fine. So out here, I'm gonna say it two to all posts. Okay, our mm, I believe we we need some kind of a menu as well. You know, like if you if you want to view the spam one or we want to uh, view the published one, so yours quite other work that's remaining so here I'm gonna say the ID posts menu and uh, out here I would be saying the UL with an LI and some increments okay so I'm gonna copy it for a couple of times so here I would be saying View all. Then I would be saying only those who are published. Uh, then I'm gonna say spam. We wanna view any no, how can we have spam with posts? Uh, let's say private if you wanna keep any posts to private, or if you want anyone, those are in flash, okay. That seems pretty fine. Come back, refresh. Let's see how ugly it will look. Yep, I know it was ugly. So I'm gonna give H2 an ID of post heading. Okay. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna say 
Pero 